So welcome to Virgin Mary Church at Mahadi. Mahadi is a word that can be translated as like crossing or passing from here, because this is the point when the Holy Family they pass and cross from this line to the other side of the line on their way to the south. Mahadi bi u prevodu moglo da da znači kao prelaz ili most prelaz sa druge strane reke. I pretpostavlja se da je sveta porodica na ovom mjestu prešla nil s jedne strane na drugu. For sure the church is not the same as it was spelled for the first time in the fourth century. Svaki crkva nije prva, ali ima poput toliko je sagrađena uče prvno veku. Because through the whole history it's been like demolished and was rebuilt many times. But the main construction, this one dates back to the 11th century. Jer je tako veko više bila rušena i uništavana, a sagrađena u 11. century, sagrađeno je 11. veko. So, as we said before, earlier, that each stop or each place we're going to visit, we have to see a water well. That was the need, that was the thing that it made the Holy Family to stay or to live beside this place. Kao što smo rekli, svaka od ovih mesta vezana za svetu porodicu ima ili bunar ili vodotu što je bilo neophodno za život svetu porodice. Actually, we have outside, you can see when we go outside, some steps or some stairs leads down to underneath the church. Actually, these stairs, this says that it's two a tunnel and this tunnel, it's crossed underneath the nine to the other side. A ovdje zapravo kada bi se izašlo iza crkve postoje stepenice koje vode dole u prolaza koji se smatra i veruje da postoje dva tunela koja vode ispod reke Nila. We are not sure that it's still so far across to the other side, but we knew that in the past it used to be and we have a part of it still intact, but usually it's very tight and narrow and we are not permitted to go for it. Sada se svakako ne koristi, ali ranije u prošlosti je poznato da se koristio taj preolaz, sada je suviše usko i nepristupačno, tako da nije dozvoljeno da se tu da ide. So, when we also get outside, I will show you that a piece of rock or a piece of stone that we have it here was used to build the church. It's actually been taken from the temples, the Pharaoh's temples. And we're gonna see a hieroglyphic symbol at the top or at the frieze of this piece of stone. Kada budemo izašli napolje, pokazat će vam kamen 
od kojeg je građena ova crkva, a koji je zapravo uzet iz starih egipatskih hramova koje su gradili faraoni i na njima zapravo još stoje tragovi hierogiva. One of the main incidents that we had here, that one day when they had a liturgy or a mass, it was held here in the church, uh, suddenly they found a holy pipel or the pipel itself, it's floating on the night. Jedan od događaja koji se dogodio za vreme službe u ovaj utrčvi su vidjeli Holy Bible, sveto pismo kako otvoreno pluta na pluta rekomnijeli. And when the people and the father, the priest, the dealer, they tried to get this copy of the Bible, they found it open on the page of Isaiah that it says, Bless my people of Egypt. I kada su sveštenici narod pokušali da dohvate knjigu, vidjeli su da je otvorena na saravnici gde je stranici proroka, knjige proroka Isaija, na koje je zapisan stih i blagoslovi narodno u Egiptu. So that's why he took it and he keep it here in a glass box, you're gonna see it all the way in a minute, where it's still intact, the weird thing that it was floating and it didn't like drown, or it didn't like melt because of the water or nothing happened to the pipe, and still intact so far since we found it. Excuse me, I just forgot the, 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 the date, but I will figure this date and I will tell you once we finish. Pokazat će nam i mesto gde su položili na čuvanje tu to sveto pismo, zbog toga što je u pitanju čudo da nije potonula knjiga, da je i dalje očuvana, da je potpuno netaknuta. Ne može sad tačno da se sedi koji datum je u pitanju, ali pogledat će podsjetiti će se pa će nam pa će nam reći. And the same as all of the other ancient churches, usually it's been decorated by all these icons that you can see dates back mostly to the 17th and 18th century. I kone kojima je ukrašen hram datiraju glavnom i 17. i 18. veka. Ok, that's all, but I just want to point to two different things I've noticed. When you do the cross simple, usually you do it like, can you make it? Yes, three. Ok. Ok. We do it the opposite way. We do it, actually, we could make it like this, because this is like a cross. Ok, but some of the people, they make it like this, like three, some people they do it like this, but it's meant to be like this and we have to make it from the opposite side. Dakle, oni kada se krste, neko od njih sa tri prsta, dva, ali zapravo u pravilu bi trebalo da se ukrste kaži prst i palac. Tako se napravi znak krsta i onda se krste, ali obrunto. Prvo levo rame pa desno. And the majority of all the Christian Coptic people in Egypt, usually they have a tattoo of a cross here, but I don't have. A uglavnom stanovnici Egipta, odnosno Kopti u Egiptu, imaju istetoviran znak krsta na ruci. So it's easy to know if the person that you're talking to him is Christian or not, usually you look to the right hand where is the tattoo. You're not a Christian. I'm pretending. Maybe, who knows? Dakle, na taj način lako možemo prepoznati da li je čovjek hrišćanin ili nije, zbog toga što kopti ovde, okruženi muslimanskim arabskim svetom, ne skrivaju svoju hrišćansku veru, već tetoviraju znak krsta, tako da u svakom trenutku njihova vera je prikazana. So, we are almost done, if you want to take pictures here, and then I will point, or I will show you where is the water well, to take you inside, and also the, uh, the Bible and some of these, uh, like, icons, some of the tools and the sensors and the crosses that they used to use it here a long time ago. It's an antique and uh, also, like, uh, an ancient, like, tools been used here. All this we're gonna see it at the room here by the court. Pokazat će nam sada malate predmete koji su iz perioda i koji su nađene ovdje i koji se čuvaju. Ali tamo da bismo otišli treba da se izvojimo. Pokazat će nam gdje treba i ukoliko želimo možemo da napravimo krug radi fotografisanja pa onda da se uputimo tamo. Okay. 
nisam mislim da dobro razumio. Dakle, crkveni predmeti, dakle, ne, ali crkveni predmeti, kao djelonica i bogoslužbeni predmeti, takođe u prednjih djelom se nalaze mošti i stare knjige. Old books. Ovo je ovaj predmet kutija na otaru, na častnoj trapezi, gde oni čuvaju častne darove, Freud i Nino, Tijelo i Krv Hristov. Ikona svete porodice kako ulazi u Egipat. Nikolika djelonica. And here we have also some relics of Saint George. Okay, it's in here. Relics of Saint George. Yes. I all these are mosti. So to, they they are mosti. Just here, some mosti of Saint George. And here we have also some of the martyrs of Maadi, some of martyrs. We call them Beitla in Jerusalem or nearby Jerusalem. This is also some of the martyrs from south of Egypt. We have also here from a city it's called or a town called El Fayum. As we said earlier, we have hundreds of thousands of martyrs. Uh, that was during the third and the beginning of the fourth century. A ovo su mošti svetitelja mučenika iz različitih krajeva Egipta iz trećeg i četvrtog veka, s obzirom da je veliki broj stradao, imaju više hiljada različitih svetitelja mučenika iz tog perioda. Znači... Okay, enjoy your time. I'll wait you outside. There is a cafeteria on the Nile if you want to get a coffee, tea to show also the to show you the the hieroglyphic symbols that we have. Okay, okay. I'll wait you outside. Check it. Check it. See, it's ready. Okay, we're ready. If we want, we can go inside. We can show you the stone with the hieroglyphs and the old temple that was used for the building of the Nile. Yes, I'm sure I'm going to go inside. Okay, okay. Kivota zapravo, kako drže ove mošti. A ovo su u našim učenici iz trećeg četvrtog veka. Mošti sve to djoći. Još jedno. Thank you. 